वेलकम बैक एग्जाम्पल सिक्स पॉइंट वन टू सो स्टेटमेंट इज द सिंपली सपोर्ट बीम इन फिगर हैज द क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया शोन डिटरमाइन द एब्सोलूट मैक्सिमम बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इन द बीम एंड ड्रॉ द स्ट्रेस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ओवर द क्रॉस सेक्शन एट दिस लोकेशन सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम विद अ यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड ऑफ फाइव किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द बीम इज शोन ओवर हेयर clear you can see all the dimension the width is 250 mm the total height is 300 plus 20 plus 20 is total height is 340 mm the thickness of web is 20 mm while thickness of flange is 20 mm so you have to determine the absolute maximum bending stress and then draw the shear or distribution over the cross section at this location so let's start with the solution so first step our first step will be if you remove the reaction uh, supports so definitely you will be have a reaction for the, let this is ra and reaction force at this point is represented as rb so we will find r a and r b so how you will find that so you will apply the equilibrium condition that sum of all moments about point b is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point b one moment is due to r a into perpendicular distance is 6 clear and it will produce clockwise moment so i will write minus 6 time r a and the second moment is due to this distributed load this when convert it into point load so 5 into total length is 6 which will be 30 and it will be acting at the half of length of the beam which is 6 by 2 and that is 3 meter and it is producing counter clockwise moment so it will be positive so i will write plus i will also convert this distributed load into point load so 5 into total length 6 will be equal to 30 kilo newton and that will be acting at a distance of 3 meter so 5 into 6 into perpendicular distance is equal to 0 so 6 r a will become equal to 30 and 90 from here you will get r a will be equal to 15 kilo newton now you have r a you can find r b by using another equilibrium condition that sum of all force along y direction must be equal to 0 and taking the upward force as positive so three force one is this one other is this one and third one is this one so their sum must be equal to 0 so r a which is 15 kilo newton minus 30 kilo newton plus r b is equal to Zero. So from here you will get R B will also equal to fifteen kilo newton. Now you have this R B. So you will then move toward drawing the shear force and bending moment diagram. Why? Because we know that maximum stress is equal to maximum bending moment into C divided by I. So we need maximum bending moment that's why we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so you have to draw vertical lines from the end of this beam and first you will draw the shear force okay so here we will have a shear force in kilo newton so let each division is 5 so it will be 15 15 will be here clear so at point at initial point you have r a so it 15 point will be first point will be here now you can see this is plus 15 and when you want to find the stress due to distributed load this load so this will be 5 into 6 30 and that will be minus because it will be downward so 15 15 minus 30 will bring it to minus 15 at the end so minus 15 will be this point so you have to join these two points by using a straight line definitely you will get sure now at the end you can see rb which is plus 15 kilo newton 
so this is minus 15 and this will bring it to the plus 15 will bring it to the zero again so at this location this will be three meter you sh your shear force will be zero now we will draw the bending moment diagram so again for bending moment diagram you will have to draw this will be x in meter where you have bending moment in kilo newton into meter so now for your first area is this one area under the shear force diagram will give you the bending moment so this area will be equal to since it is rectangle triangle so it will be 1 over 2 into its height which is 15 multiplied by 3 and that will be equal to 22.5 kilo newton into meter so at the distance of 3 meter you have a bending moment of 22.5 so let each division is of let's say 5 so this will be 20 kilo newton and 22 will be in between these two so you will have a point like this that this is 22.5 since uh, this shear force line is a one degree line and slope is decreasing so bending moment will be a second degree curve and it will be clockwise so we will draw the bending moment will be like this one okay now you can see that we have this area which is also similar and this area is again this is minus 22.5 when you calculate so plus 22 minus 22.5 will bring it to zero at this point so you will have the bending moment curve will be like this one so i will draw it So this is your bending moment diagram now from this bending moment diagram you can see your from i will write from bending moment diagram you have maximum absolute bending moment will be equal to 22.5 kilo newton into meter so you have this value what about c so we will go to c will be equal to we will go to this section and you can see this is its neutral axis so c is the distance from neutral axis to the topmost. so this is c which is 150 plus this distance 150 plus this 20 which will be equal to 170 so c is equal to 170 millimeter and we will convert it into meter it will be 0 0.170 meter now we have this value as well we but we do not know i so we will calculate i for this beam so for that i will copy this and we'll bring it to this position so that we can easily calculate i so i you can see that for i we will find the moment of inertia of this upper flange and this web so i will write the formula by using parallel axis theorem so it will be equal to i bar plus ad square sum of inertias of each element so we have three one is this one second is web and third one is this one so you can see the upper and lower plates or flanges are at equidistance from the neutral axis so we will take only one but we will multiply it with two so two multiply by this plate uh, let me clear this so first thing is that you will take this plate i have shaded it so one over 12 its bread is 250 millimeter which in meter will be equal to 0 0.250 into h cube and h for this plate is 20 millimeter so it will be 0 0.02 whole cube plus ad square now what is the area of this plate so its area will be 250 multiplied by 20 so 250 when converted into meter it will be 0 0.250 into 
0 0.02 this is the area multiplied by d square now d square is if i zoom it so d square will be new from neutral axis till the mid of this so this is your d clear and this d is equal to 150 plus half of 20 which is 10 and that will be equal to 160 millimeter so d will be 160 millimeter so 160 millimeter is actually 0 0.160 meter and it will be a square plus we have the middle portion now you can see the middle portion is this web one and its uh, moment of inertia will be equal to 1 over 12 this is 1 over 12 not 1 over 2 okay so 1 over 12 b its breadth is you can see 20 millimeter so 20 0 0.02 and its total height from this till this is 150 plus 150 which is 300 and that will be equal to 0 0.300 whole cube we will not use here a plus d plus a d square because you can see its d will be zero from it this uh, flange uh, web will have a midpoint over here and this neutral axis is passing through centroid of this flange so d will be equal to zero so a d square term will be zero so we will only left with this thing so when you calculate all these values so you will get i in term of meter will be 0 301.3 into 10 to power minus 6 meter power 4 now you have i as well you have maximum bending moment and you have c as well so you can put it in this formula so you will get the maximum bending stress so we will write maximum bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i so maximum bending moment was 22.5 kilo newton so 22.5 into 10 to power 3 will be converted into newton c was 0 0.170 divided by i is 301.3 into 10 to power minus 6 meter power so again when you calculate it you will get 12.7 mega pascal so bending stress maximum is equal to 12.17 mega pascal okay so this is the maximum bending stress so if you want to find the uh, stress at point b let me clear it so if you find want to find the stress at b so what we will do you, you have this formula stress at point b is equal to minus m into c is replaced with yb distance from neutral axis to the point b divided by i so your maximum bending moment is 22.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 now your b point is at a distance of 150 millimeter so you will convert yb is 0 0.150 divided by i is 301.3 into 10 to the power minus 6 so again when you solve it it will be 11.2 mega pascal so this is stress at point b so this was the extra which I have done because uh, a student requested me to explain this problem. So that's why I'm going to explain it. Now we will uh, do the our next part that is draw the shear and, uh, distribution over the stress distribution over the cross section. So for that I have to draw the cross section. So let me draw it. So let this is the I will roughly draw it so let this is the beam clear you have this beam okay you have okay so this is the beam and let this is your horizontal axis and the axis that is outside is this one 
clear okay so this is your neutral axis n a now we, by using this formula stress is equal to movement into c divided by i clear so you can see that you will have maximum stress when c is from neutral axis to this point this is your c so when c is maximum so you will have maximum stress clear and you will have a maximum stress like this so this will be your maximum stress at point b this is this was the point b you will have a maximum stress like this and at this point you will have zero stress so it will be like if i draw it like this one and here you will have stress so you will have maximum movement maximum value over here and then downward and at center point you will have zero stress so stress will decreasing if out if i represent it over here so this will be your stress at y is equal to c at c so you will have stress like this and again at this point you will have a lower magnitude stress so your stress figure will be like this and it will reduce to at this point you will have a stress like this this and at this point you will have a zero so if i represent it like this so this stress at this point will be equal to zero and stress distribution will be like this again if i draw it uh, let me draw it over here so if you have i beam like this so you will be having a maximum stress over here and then if this is the your neutral axis so this stress will be like this one so if here top is decreasing and this point it will be zero and here it will be increasing so this will be the stress distribution i hope so uh, also you can see that due, this is the force stress distribution force and it is producing a movement in this direction because you can see this force is in this direction and it is producing a couple and this force is in this direction so it is producing a counter clockwise movement and this movement will be equal to 222.5 kilo newton into meter so this was all about example 6.12 i hope you have enjoyed this video again if you are new to my channel then subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video thank you for watching and supporting me and if you have any question you can ask me in comment section take care